Hello kids, I am Teacher Gwyneth, your teacher for today. Welcome to a day of fun and excitement as we unveil new learning in science. Yes, I will be your guide all throughout this lesson. Science 6, Quarter 1, Module 1, Lesson 2. It is all about differentiating solute from a solvent. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to differentiate a solute from a solvent. Do you know that most of the things we consume every day, like the food we eat, the air that we breathe, the things we use at home, especially in the kitchen or bathroom, are called mixtures. Mixtures are important in our daily life. How about what drinks do you usually prepare for breakfast? It could be a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, or a glass of milk in hot water. Have you wondered which of these substances does the dissolving or the substance that is being dissolved? The three given options are examples of solution. Solution is an example of a mixture. Solution also plays an important role in our daily life. Before we proceed, let me give you some guide questions. First, what is a solution? Second, what makes up a solution? And third, how can you differentiate a solute from a solvent? Now let us proceed with our discussion. When one substance dissolves into another, a solution is formed. A solution is a homogeneous mixture consisting of a solute and a solvent. It means that the composition of the mixture is uniform all throughout. So when you pour sugar into the water and mix it, you are forming a solution. Solution, based on the description, has two substances that are mixed together. They are solute and solvent. A solvent is a substance that does the dissolving or it is a substance used to dissolve a solute. It is of a larger amount. In the sugar and water solution, water is a solvent. Do you know that water is considered as the universal solvent? It was considered to be such since it dissolves more substances than any other. Another substance from the solution is a solute. A solute dissolves or the substance that is being dissolved. It is of the smallest amount. There are solutes that can be dissolved in a given solvent. They are called soluble. Example of soluble materials are salt and sugar. However, there are also substances that cannot be dissolved in solvent. They are called insoluble. Example of insoluble substance would be the sand when mixed with water. Sand is an insoluble substance. Now, let us recall what we have discussed. What is again solution? It is the combination of a solute and a solvent that forms a uniform mixture. Solute is the one being dissolved while solvent is the one that dissolves. Solute can become soluble or insoluble. Now, let us check what you have learned with our lesson. By classifying each substance as solute or solvent. First is Buca juice. Is it a solute or a solvent? Let me hear you. Louder, please. Well, you got it right. It's a solvent. How about water? 
Is it a solute or a solvent? Clap for yourselves, for I know you got it right. It's a solvent. We even had said during the discussion that water is the universal solvent. How about sugar? Is it a solute or a solvent? Correct! It is a solute. Coffee powder. Is it a solute or a solvent? It is a what? It is a solute. How about the last one? Powder juice. Is it a solute or solvent? It is a solute. Congratulations, everyone! Because I know you got them all correct. Good job! Kids, I hope.